Wow. Oh, good morning, everyone. Um, this is the um, June regular meeting of the Sandpoint Tree Committee. We're meeting here on June 21st. It's um, 833 uh, at uh, Sandpoint City Hall, 1123 West Lake Street in Sandpoint, <laughs> Idaho. Um, and a happy first day of summer to everyone yeah. also. My name is Bob Wilson. I'm a chair of the committee. Um, members present, Rich Del Carlo, Eileen Atkinson, Gail Lister, and our city forester, Maeve Nevins Lauder, are here. Uh, members missing, Sharon Lewis, um, Bill Love, and uh, Molly McCann. Um, so um, first item on the agenda, um, just are there any um, uh, announcements or um, comments or anything from, and Rich, I think Rich has something um, we wanted to talk about regarding tree pruning. So yeah, tree pruning. Uh, the, um, so the Aspen crew um, that's been hot, that was hired by Avista has been pruning in the city on, on the city trees under the power lines. And we know that that is an ongoing thing and that they typically do um, some fairly extreme work um, for the power lines. But I've had a couple people comment, um, and actually one who is a tree guy that used to be a utility, for, uh, utility work for utility commented, and I noticed that there are some really poor um, uh, work done, uh, bad cuts, um, extreme kind of extreme cuts that uh, could potentially, um, you know, uh, put at risk the, the health of these uh, already stressed trees. So, uh, you know, I would like to see if we can tighten those standards up um, with those guys. Uh, they should have actually certified arborists they're, they're certified utility arborists, but they should also have the certification of, uh, you know, cert Some yeah. Training. Well, typically they do, and and normally the, their crew is pretty good. But mm. and this is Asplen, so you know they're contracted by Avista. Yeah. So, um, just something that we need to, um, you know, try and uh, rein in a bit. Can um, we, are we the ones that could make rules and, and standards? Well, we have the them? arbor, we have the manual, which, you know, um, has this, has the standards in it. And they could read them and realize. Well, they should know not... that for sure. So yeah. I have something to say about all this. Okay. If anyone cares. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Um, we, I have an investigation moving forward on two trees that were moved, removed on foyer illegally. I suspect it was someone associated with a VISTA, but I'm not sure. Um, I did an investigation with Garth last week. It's happened super fast. So I was going to talk about it when, it, when wow. I was up about tree mm -hmm. inspections. Um, I have an email into Ben Kappen. He's the vegetative management director with VISTA. And I don't know what will be next, but I've written a memo to Jennifer, which will go to legal. Wow. And um, I intend to pursue, at least on my end, uh, landscape value for these trees. They're mm -hmm. moderosa bull pines. But with that, um, I'm going to send out a letter to all the utility companies. Um, I'm just building a case. Wow. Basically, so good. Mm. Um, Thank you. Yes. Well, those trees could be worth 50000 each. You know, I don't know. Where, just, where is you know, this? The, um, the two trees that were removed are on Boyer by, it's the corner of Boyer and Juniper. Um, oh, that's so that's north, um, north by the airport. Boyer, huh? almost to the airport. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm so bad with neighborhoods, right? Uh, but okay. It's right off of Boyer uh, on the corner of Juniper. And um, it came in the report. The person wants to be a, remain anonymous, but she did provide the company that she thinks was removing them. And then I had Garth look at them just last Thursday. I spent most of my day with Garth and um, you know we don't really have a process in place because I guess this hasn't happened previously and if it has they haven't gotten caught but right. these were two big full-grown you know 
80 plus foot wow. um, ponderosas. So. Not, not something you could just do in, in a few hours. No, and there was no evidence. Really? So oh. he suspects it in the night. He suspects it was a, a lumber operation that was oh. hired to come and take them or something like that. They were used for lumber because there was no evidence of it at all. So we don't know wow. exactly. But I do have a name of the company that mm. the person that reported it thinks did it. So anyway. Um, How is that tied in with Avista? Yeah. yeah. Well, because we don't know if Avista hired them. There's utility lines through there. Um, there's also a lot of uh, cable companies right now, the yeah. fiber companies yeah. that are yeah. doing stuff. Right. And they don't seem to be managed. So huh. um, I was actually wanting to ask you, and I was going to talk about it when it was my agenda you know, under the inspections of what has happened in the past? What was the process during the past? Sure. Anyway, I would really like to speak on that. Are we at that yeah. point? Did we yeah. okay our minutes and stuff? Are we? We, we have we no, we're, we're kind of um, we're, we're excited. Minute, that was an initial, <laughs> yeah, we probably shouldn't skip ahead okay. on the agenda. Um, but um, let's let's more let's address that. that more when we get to your uh, agenda item. Maybe that would be okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Well, that's uh, good news, but enlightening at least. Um, thank you, Rich. Um, okay. Um, minutes from the previous meeting. Well, I should ask: Are there any other announcements or comments before we go ahead? Um, if not, um, are there any? Um, uh, amendments or corrections to the minutes from our May 2nd meeting? <laughs> if you hear a minute, I mean, checking, yes. <laughs> yeah. I'll yeah. believe what I'll you said. Sure no yeah. errors there. Um, I think it's even spelled right. Okay. Okay, okay uh, I'm going to say yes, I'd like to. You'd like to move. You'd like move, to move to, okay, the oh, second. Move the minutes as written. Okay. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, Gail moves and uh, Eileen seconds. All in favor, um, say aye. 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 All opposed? Okay. Um, minutes are approved as written. Okay. Um, Arbor Day. That was a big event. And I want to give a big thanks to Maeve for a, a monumental effort <laughs> Thank and you kind all of very much. pulling a lot of stuff together well, in a like very short period of effort. time. Community effort, I would say. Yeah. yeah. So, so a uh, tree, our little tree yesterday. Our little fine. tree. It's yes. just a little one, which has lots of hope in it. <laughs> yeah. But why don't you give us a, a, um, a review of that and um, what your thoughts are, and, and I hope hopefully we can use that as a template for going yes, forward. Yes. Sure. So um, from from my background, um, I'm used to partnering with other other groups, and so. That day, we selected it um, based on communication with the Native Plant Society and also the museum that they were having their plant sale that day. And so it seemed like a good fit, as you all remember. And so we moved to that day, so we partnered. So number one, partnering with an existing um, an, or another event that is like-minded. And so that was a really strong one because it, it helped having capacity of their volunteers and we shared resources plus having the museum open um, worked out to be really nice because it was pouring rain and <laughs> we were able to put the kids booth inside. Um, we were able to also leverage um, partnerships with the art community. So that was great. The, um, um, what is it called? The Wandere Art Council, yeah. they came and we had the Native Plant Society there. We had the museum. Of course, the love came. We had two different representatives from the Idaho state of Idaho um, uh, tree tree community, I guess. So we had Karen Robinson, and she brought trees. And then we had Garth um, from the Spokane Conservation District. Then we had our own soil conservation district. Um, Sarah, she brought um, she brought about what two hundred trees. Who was there? And then the end of the it was a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you weren't there yet? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I was there. I was there. Yeah. yeah, we were there. It was yeah. raining. <laughs> and the rain and I just <laughs> under our gear. Yeah, I think I know, right? And the rain was horrendous, as you'll recall. Um, but out of all that, I'd say we had about maybe between 60 to 70 people, I think. Mm. Um, I think they gave out, out around 100 to 150 trees at, out of 400. 
So um, then the trees that were left over were distributed. Um, some went to Pond A, which was great. They had another Arbor Day event over there. And okay. then um, some went to, there was some sort of a kids um, event that they went to. So we kind of scrambled at the last minute of what to do with the leftover trees, but we were able to find homes for them all. Um, one thing that I thought was a little bit awkward and uncomfortable was during our presentation, since I have on the agenda to give you guys a little debrief, I just yes. want to tell you, I don't think went well, yeah. was getting cornered by somebody, um, her name is Jane Fritz, and she was oh, yes. fine and lovely, but um, she, she interrupted us during the presentation and said she wanted to speak, and yeah. um, I wasn't really sure if I should let her speak and what, what I should do, so mm. on the fly, I just said, that she could help me with the tree blessing at the very end. And I thought, okay, I hope this goes okay. And I really didn't know in the future, I would not recommend ever doing that because it made me, it compromised me and the agenda and Bill who was the MC. And so I just don't think that that's a good way. If somebody wants to be part of the presentation, they should be part yes. of it in advance. And we should know about it on at the tree committee. So but the how, hard part is like how to tell Jane. Up like that. Right. And she showed up and she said it as Bill was presenting in the middle of right. us kind of going right. And I was just sort of quickly <clears throat> trying to pacify her because I didn't know where it was going to go. You so were she, graceful. She yeah. did a good job, but mm -hmm. I also wasn't. I felt like I lost a little bit of control. <laughs> it didn't look that way. Um, it was, was really, no, you I was did really show scared up. of what could happen. But you know what? Babe? We know her. You and all so do, but I don't. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, we'll so save you. I had no idea. And I thought, it was, we all went, oh, what is she going to do? <laughs> but she was okay. She was yes. okay. You didn't look so, out of control at all. And she Thank has you. her message that she feels she she's spreading always. So. Yes. So, and I think it was an alignment. You know, we talked, <laughs> like I had said all along that I would be doing the tree blessing and the land acknowledgement. Um, yeah. So it worked out okay. Yeah. But just in the future, I think let's try to not have rogue speakers. And <laughs> I blame myself for not, ha not being... I really was caught off guard. And sure. Yeah, right. It was only <clears throat> so first for you. We saw the possibility as it was happening, but but yeah, there wasn't much we could do because it was literally while he was yeah. speaking. <laughs> well, and the reality is, I mean, it could, it, you know, Jane is, you know, she does have that thing, but it could have, I mean, it could have been a different agenda yes, or something like right. that. That you yes. know, so yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just never know in these <clears throat> in these times. Right. You really have to be careful about who gets the sure. mic. So yeah. yeah. Um, and it compromised me professionally yes. because, if, you know, I was supposed to be in charge of it. I just really shouldn't have done that. So I apologize to you for not. not oh, oh my gosh, about please, that, no. But we um, yeah, we would stop the learning lesson. <laughs> <laughs> so was, she was appropriate, but it right, was not her place. Right. And right. It, yeah. So anyway, in the future, I will not okay. do that. We'll but ever again in really my career, well. that yes. was pretty bizarre. Mm -hmm. Um, well, during, during our, our planning meetings, her name did come up as when we we're talking about the blessing. And did, uh, was she ever contacted? Or no, what? she contacted me because she was part of one of maybe the Native Plant Society or something. She's part of something. Mm -hmm. And she let me know about her disgruntled feelings towards the city and particularly my boss and as it pertained to geese. And so right. I, was a, I was a little bit leery because I was already versed on mm -hmm. some challenges but mm -hmm. at the same time um for all especially since this is a public meeting for anyone that does want to be a part of it i welcome that of course and so i would always have welcomed it's just i would have liked to know what she wanted to talk about in advance mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. like, you know yeah, because i saw you talking to her before and then i yeah we we, we were all whispering <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, you hold on we didn't know that it, we could have talked yeah, and she, we did talk previously about um, her relationship with the, um, uh, tribe. the tribe. tribe, yeah, and so that was helpful and, and great. She was questioning my land acknowledgement and I assured her that I got permission. Oh, um, that's not good. So, yeah, I think it all was fine. I mean, I, I'm professional with all of sure. that stuff, so sure. I know it came directly, off right. directly with the tribe, so right. um, anyway. That was a learning lesson for me. Another thing was we just can't help the weather. So I think at the end of the day, 
unfortunately, Arbor Day falls in the spring, and mm -hmm. you know, May showers are part of. <laughs> well, maybe in, since this was the biggie, yeah. it was appropriate. Maybe in the future we could look at a later date. Right. Yeah, we can. Kind of That's it. why we moved it. It snowed one time. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Maybe it's closer to June. I'm but Cammy sure. and her family, you were the only ones that came with plans. They actually did a map of their land and where they were wondering you did? it was so dear yes and how did that go good we chatted with uh, uh karen yeah mm -hmm. about some different tree options um we're looking at building a, a detached garage 80 at the back and we want to be conscientious of green screening between our neighbors and privacy between our house and yeah. karen had some really good suggestions yeah, yeah. So all in all, it was yes. a really good day, so, and we are, as Idahoans, are usually prepared with clothing. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, yeah. okay. this is this um, is a particularly wet night. The, <laughs> June June. June. the uh -huh. tree art exhibit, the community tree, we have it. It didn't turn out that great because there weren't that many participants. Yeah. So, if I thought if we ever wanted to use it again and fill it up, we can use it for something maybe for something next spring. Um, but it's. Really, it it's needs ours. love. It's yes. It needs some love and it can be resurrected. Resurrected. Good. I just don't think it's prepared to hang anywhere. No. Um, it's just not done. It wasn't filled out. And then also, um, I was going to send out a thank you with some pictures from the event. So I was going to see if any of you had any pictures. I have some, but they're really, really small and pixelated because someone sent them on their phone. Mm. And so I, I just haven't gotten it together, but I need to finish up the report for the grant, and then I was going to send out the report. And I had a I fantasy. I it wasn't a camera. It, it, it really wasn't. So I don't know who had. Um, I, have I might have them. some. Yeah, I just need a couple of good ones just to send that would go with the report. And then there were those people from the university or something over. Yeah, that woman. Uh, her name was Eileen. I don't know, but they, but they talked about soil temperature oh. and handed out a little flyer, which has really changed the way I'm looking at things okay. as far as planting. Yeah, it was great. I don't know. Who were those Gardner? people? Was that the like, Master Gardener? They were all women University. sitting in chairs. Yeah. Oh, we did invite the Master Gardener. Yeah, the Master Gardener. Oh, maybe that, they, yes, yes, they yes, 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 yeah. they were. So I think it's important to follow up with a thank you to everyone that I know that came and I'll just flush that through and review all to Great. make sure I have the, cool. the um, follow up on that and to make sure I have all the addresses. But I, yeah, I, I was struggling with my pictures. They're really excited. Um, and that's, that's it for the recap. I think it'd be great to do this again next year with that same group if you're all comfortable sure, it's no, it's good. worthwhile to say hey we'd like to do this again we won't qualify for the grant for the tree again um so we'll have to look for that but we do have funding available for but we could also tree. rally around this tree and like do we some could, we could do some, yes we could i don't know what uh, <laughs> this little tree is going to need some love he's a good love. color he's up against funny. everything else have you guys seen i haven't seen it yeah <laughs> the white pine yep i, yeah. I have seen it I you've seen, it definitely out. seen it yeah. <laughs> cute brought it in so i'll get that thank you out to everyone and then share thank it with you. you and then you can help distribute it as well and um yeah if you have any other does anyone else have any I think you did an amazing job pulling everybody together mm -hmm. and then the whole thing with the map with the little, that was fun yes <laughs> we'll have that forever yes and the children took me did on they? the tour oh, so right. I wasn't even allowed to guess they <laughs> yes but, yeah it was yeah, we can use that again next year yeah okay I thought Change it was it. great oh, and good. weather was the only thing that dampened it <laughs> and we have a ton of leftover coloring books that Cammy's handing out at the park office station and um, we'll use those again next year. So yeah. Thanks. Excellent. All right. Well, again, a very big thank you. To You're welcome. For that. Thank you all. It's a good team effort. Okay. Um, and then next up, um, our urban forestry program update. Um, and uh, do you have something on that, Mae? I do. Um, so we just 
got the results from the survey. Let me pull it up really quickly. And then we had about a hundred responses, so not great. Um, it's still open oh. and we can send it out again if we want, but um, yeah, we're definitely gonna go. Just pull it up real quick. Did you do it? The survey? Mm. I mean, it was, uh, it was on the computer, right? Yep, yes. it's on mm -hmm. the computer. Was that available for people that are not city residents? Yeah, okay. it's available for everybody. So everyone on the tree okay. committee should probably do it. I would okay. encourage. Yes, you I thought it was kind of vague, though. I don't know where you would go with it from there. I, but that's that, it's not something for you to worry about. What, what you need to worry about is doing the tree survey. Okay, well, I did it. I was good. I did. So. If you haven't done the tree survey, this is your call to action. Um, I can't share right now because I didn't figure out the link, but I get a dashboard that shows me the results. So I just want to show you what I'm looking at, and then I'll I'll just summarize this so that it gets picked up. For How do you access that? It might be you guys can't see the results. You can only no. I meant I'm sorry. The, the, the survey. It. Oh, we sent the link out to everyone, and then through our engage standpoint app. And it's in our agenda right now. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, I did. <laughs> so please spell it if out. If you'd like me to email the link after the meeting, I can do that. Yes. Is so that, then you can just click on the that's in the minutes here? Yes. Yeah, thank you. Or it's the agenda? Been yeah. It's okay. been in there for two months. <laughs> yeah. um, we launched it the day after the city council meeting. Mm. Yeah. I remember. We I got launched it. it on Arbor Day, so everybody, please do it and please let people know because I, I frankly, as the city, this we should have more than a hundred, you know, ninety-four responses oh, right mm. now. So, um, did she only send that out through Engage? Well, I sent the link out to a bunch of people, and we made announcements. We had it in the newspaper. Mm. Yeah, you know, I was just thinking there's other newsletters that are e-newsletters e through the website that we could utilize if you want to try and bump it a little bit. Yeah, let's check with, with Jennifer on that because I was going to give her a recap. We were mm -hmm. talking about how to pump it one more time mm -hmm. before she closes it. And um, the message was that we were going to, I was going to give her a recap on Arbor Day. She's going to send out a thank you and say, if you haven't sent, if you haven't done the survey. Oh, good. There you go. So she was going to wrap it up. So, okay. And then we're going to close it probably, um, I would say, one more week. And um, then the next thing that we'll do is move into the inventory. And um, Tom, Tom, Bill, Mr. Flood, Jim, 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 <laughs> Jim Flood, our planning consultant, will be here in July, um, the second and third week, or the, sorry, the, I'm just going to say the end of July, the last couple of weeks of July, he'll be here. Um, doing the inventory and working with me directly on getting that moving mm. and then he thinks he's going to have the first draft by the first week of August of the master plan so we should be reviewing it pretty quickly cool he's I've already seen the outline and it has everything that we could ever imagine in it um, he just needs to cross pollinate with all of the resources and start pulling it all together so he thinks he can knock that out pretty quickly um, so, so when he says inventory, are we talking about a tree inventory or some other sort of? Yeah, so he's going to take a look at what you all did, and then he's going to okay. um, dive deeper and use the tree hazard risk formula and um, make more recommendations for us. So okay. we're building on the existing inventory, basically, and it's a new one, but it's um, bringing it all together. So, yeah. Okay. Yep. And we're looking at specifically everything south of Cedar um, right now. So just everything in the right away. Not every single tree, but the majority mm -hmm. he'll be able to capture and parkland too. So he's gonna make recommendations on where are good places to, to do neighbor works, um, things like that. You know, really diving deeper into the tree program right now, particularly. Mm -hmm. Um, what, what we're dealing with sidewalks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I want, oh, are we on something else? I wonder about tree planting on that sidewalk. What are the requirements now? We're talking well, about the big so project. So NeighborWorks is on hold. We 
So. Neighborwood. Neighborwood, sorry. It's okay. We had a neighbor works in Anchorage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry, confuse my program. Um, Neighborwoods is on hold until we get the recommendation back from him because it's a very cumbersome program. So what it entails, as you probably are familiar, is Kim essentially had to order the trees. He had to contact the people, basically hold, hold every resident's hand through the ordering process. Then you have to make sure that they actually follow through and do it, right. get the trees to the people. So frankly, I don't have time to do that. So we're so not we're, doing it now in the fall? Um, I don't know yet. And I'll know more once he gives us recommendations back. Uh -huh. we're, we would like to do it in the fall. And that was what Jennifer and I were hoping Good. to do all along. Um, and we're hoping to use it particularly for the Pine Street project. If they're ready, then we're moving pretty slowly, but that's a good, good one. And Kim has already talked to a lot of the residents and there was a lot of interest. I have a list from Kim, um, or I should say Cammie has a list in the file of people that were interested. So um, it's just on hold right now. And <clears throat> we will we'll be looking at all of that. That is actually an item for discussion here okay. on the agenda. Mm -hmm. so, well, maybe we yeah. should just um, slip on into the next is agenda okay? item because we're <laughs> Sorry. It's like that. No, that, that's fine. Um, this is this is something we need to spend some time thinking about, and and, uh, and um, yeah, since since I think roles are going to be different, who's going to be doing what is going to be different, and maybe what our whole approach might be quite different. So I think we just need to think through the whole process from start to finish, from from. Um, you know, soliciting applications. I don't know if we need to take another look at our application form, yeah. but at some point maybe we need to do that too. Um, and then how do we how do we respond? How do we um, get information to the, the the people that are looking for trees? Um, uh, how do we help them choose a tree? And how do we find out what's available? And so this whole this whole series of things that um, I think we need to um, uh, make sure we're addressing properly and in, 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 in a, a comprehensive way. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I was invited, I guess, um, somebody from Arbor Day recommended that I go to the city foresters course this fall in September and they offered mm. for me to, to get a scholarship and it would cover everything except for the flights, but it's in Ohio. And I'm thinking it would be a really great opportunity. I could learn a lot and certainly do my job better, but I'm, I'm currently trying to get my landscape architecture license simultaneously. Oops. And <laughs> those are four exams. I've got wow. one done that I just passed and I have three more to take. And um, I just don't think that I have the availability this year, um, but I want you all to know that it, that was something that was offered to me and I'm, very much considering it. I just don't know how I can pull it all off in this first year, but I'm gonna sort of put it on hold. And I told them that um, I'll let them know as soon as I am able to talk to, to Jim Plot a little bit more and find out what he recommends because he's making recommendations for this position as well and how we run. So he's looking at the whole program as part of the master plan. So mm -hmm. he's gonna be doing a deep dive into the neighborhood. So roles and responsibilities and who does what and is this the right fit? And mm. at one thing I think that would be really great to do is to go to that, that class and network and find out what other cities right. are doing. Yeah. Do you know that involves a lot of follow up and that's like another month of conversations. And honestly, my two biggest, hardest exams are in the fall. And I just don't think that I'll be able to do it this year. But I want you guys to know that, you know, I'm committed and maybe in the future, or um, maybe another staff person would want to take that on. I'm not quite sure what we'll look like in a couple months from now, but let's just see what happens with his, um, his recommendations. And, I'm See just in have. awe over how blessed we are right now. Yes, yes. This is uh, unbelievable. It's the it's the role, just to be clear. There's a lot of people that can be in this role. Well, you're doing an <laughs> excellent you. job. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, I just want you to know I'm trying to figure all that out and navigate that. And that's kind of where, where we are on the, that stuff. So when do we anticipate Jim Flott's going to give us some sort of guidelines mm -hmm. on I told you the draft will be prepared by the end of July, first week of August. And, okay. Um, so I'm wondering what what 
do we need to wait for that to to discuss this more or yes okay so that's my recommendation yeah that's what i'm thinking too and, and so i'm not sure we have a lot more to talk about it today unless unless folks have other particular comments oh no i have more to talk about for um, tree inspection which is the next item oh okay um but as far as neighborhoods i don't really have much else to discuss it is what it is right now and we're aware of it and yeah and um i would just say my my recommendation when staff works is just to wait and see what he says um because i'm assuming he's going to give us best management practices that's my guess what other places are doing what works really well and he'll look at ours and see the see the um constraints and opportunities and give us you know some feedback on that so. yeah it's it's time that we just have a really more of a professional. elaborate professional <laughs> thing here I know given the um, size of the city and everything yeah and well I'll let you read that's all uh, yeah I don't know if I have much more to say on it either till we um get get the Jim Watts feedback yeah on it. but um well, yeah, in it's our primitive a... way, I think we've done really well. Yeah. Well, so, it was yes. very true. I, yeah, mm -hmm. yes. so we, we made this yeah. up, really. And, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah. the results Just... from the survey so far point to that. People are really impressed with the forest, and generally, there's the comments are they want to see more. So I think that's a good. Cool. Well, I think the importance of it is that it's yeah, probably one of the most visible things the city does in regards to yes. city trees. Um, and I think it's, you know, especially for the folks that have gotten trees, it's by and large been a very positive thing for the city. So it's, it's something that we definitely want to make sure is working and working well as we go ahead. Yeah, I think it's really important, though, to remember that when we're looking at utilizing a program like that in conjunction with something like a street project, which we're only going to continue to have more and more street projects mm -hmm. as we go on here. We're about to pump millions into the into the infrastructure. Um, we're going to really want to have a streamlined system so that our front desk people like right now, our permits aren't even connected to the permit system. You know, I just was working with the IDS team, which is our infrastructure development services team, and they they really didn't even know we had such a process. Now our team, they've been doing this, you guys have been doing this for a long time, and it was pretty efficient on the park side, but there was a, a lack of communication at the very, very highest level of, oh yeah, this is how we're doing it. And so um, just some general get things up to speed with how other permitting processes work and then knowing that along with your permit, when you pull your permit request to do any maintenance or to remove a tree, you also have an opportunity to enter into the neighborhoods program and this is when it is and this is what time of year and blah 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 blah. So, you know, we really need to get a get our, our just you know, a tuna is how I'm going to put it. Mm -hmm. So just think of it as a tuna. I don't think by any means it's a reflection in a bad way. I think mm -hmm. you guys have an incredible right. foundation and that the program given by the results are, it's a really solid program. It's just, mm -hmm. we only have limited capacity. It's really three of us in the parks team right now and we have maintenance, but myself, Cammy, and Jason are kind of the main people out of the office and we have a lot going on. We're just I don't know if this is a proper thing to say, but I wonder why our neighborhoods program, which is like out in the neighbors zones, could be separated from when a city project happens, that that would be different, that they would have requirements that they had to plant or replace or whatever, but that the neighborhoods program could still be like leaking out into Absolutely. The small zones. Absolutely. And I yeah, I think we're going to talk about that of, you know, what will be the role of the tree committee. Maybe it's something that the tree committee runs and manages. And in my mind, I would like to see <laughs> see that. off my plate, frankly. Mm. It's a mm. lot of oh, I can't it's you. a lot of extra stuff that I don't have capacity for. Yeah. I won't have capacity. I'm ramping up for a multi-million dollar project that is gonna take all my time. It's a, almost a 10 million dollar project so make no mistake about it I'm, 
I'm Big. about I'm about to trim the fat. <laughs> so I've got to yes. focus. So yeah. No, I'm not putting it on you. I no, was no, saying because yeah. in our last meeting we all agreed that maybe we could be a part of actually doing what needs Absolutely. to be done instead Absolutely. of you. Yeah, I think it'd be great. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Just had maybe to say just that. using us to get the word out or something. Yeah, but um, we're gonna look at all that. So, and you're not gonna be in the dark on this. We're as soon as Jim is engaged and he's here. He's going to be digesting all of this and he'll be here and I'll probably I imagine we're all going to work together again on the plan or at least he'll give us a draft. I don't quite know his process yet. He's not fully engaged with me yet. So. Yeah, I'm wondering because I think I missed the very first return meeting. Mm. It was a community hall. I was yes. in So I didn't meet Jim until the next meeting there. How did, <coughs> how did, what was the process for getting him Hired and involved. I wasn't sure when they originally hired him. I inherited him. his contract. <laughs> um, my understanding is that he already met with you on the fall. Is that correct? Yeah. Or last summer? Do you not? Bob, do you remember that? What was that? Sorry. <laughs> Bob, do you remember when Jim first met with the tree committee? No. Last year. When did yeah. you Last even summer, maybe. Summer? I, I was thinking oh, summer, no. even. Late that summer? Probably was last summer. Yeah. Is this at Community Hall when we met him Hall there? Was my first meeting with him. Yeah, because we've extended his contract twice. Mm. So he's just as much as we are really wanting this done. Right. So, but who, who in this place said trees? We need, we need a, we need a master plan. Yeah. <laughs> so so we need council. somebody. I'm imagining it came from City Council because they said they. They, well, we're lucky. But we I'm just wonder, curious. Uh, so yeah. city council advises Jennifer. Yeah. And Jennifer manages staff. Okay. So okay. city council and the mayor. They're yeah. over here. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Goes no. Jennifer and then she's the city administrator. So she administrates what I think what the council has asked for. Yeah. So I don't know the history of it. I'm surprised you don't remember. Help, help. <laughs> <laughs> what? Help, help, help. Well, they, so I it's all run together for me. And Candy, no. you have been a part of. Uh, no. she wasn't a part of it. No, either. she yeah, wasn't. So we don't know. Kim, we don't know. Kim never said anything to us about it before you left. Oh. Yeah, actually, when we met at City Hall, or not City Hall, on um, the uh, Community Hall, um, Kim was there at the at the start to kind of introduce things, but yeah. then he left, right? Yeah. And it was just Jim Flop and then the committee, um, <laughs> and he just wanted our interaction. Sort of uh, so unencumbered, I think, by any other uh, presence. We don't know any more than you do. Oh, so, um, oh. is that correct? Am I? That's, am I that's how I remember. That was, I thought that was last summer. So, yeah, it doesn't matter when. Yeah. I just anyway. Somebody kicked it off. Somebody Again, it. I suspect it was city council because we follow the strategic loved. plan that was identified. <laughs> we are now on our second round of the city plan, which was just adopted last okay. week. Um, so there was a city plan that was developed five years ago by city council and um, the staff, and then that was implemented. So I suspect that was one of the implementations of the city city um, council strategic plan. And then I know when I came on board, and even when I was here in July, my first when I first started here, I was only here for three days. I, I think I met you guys. And I was brought mm -hmm. to the meeting, and then. Mm -hmm you know, kind of thrown into the fire. Yeah, I think I'm um, yeah it was a little <laughs> while back then. And then Kim um, had given me the, the survey to review. So the survey was the precursor for him, for Jim's plan. He was trying to collect this information. And then we had staff changeover and we were playing with the survey, putting it in two different formats, meaning two different softwares. And it ultimately um, didn't get launched until just this spring at Arbor Day. So it took all that time yeah. to get the final draft of the survey out, which I think Jim was waiting for. And he's still waiting for that information. And, and Jennifer has said she's going to close it. Um, you know, but Sweet. we only had 100 people now yeah. and wanted me to talk to you all about it. And I think it's best if we keep it open for another week. Mm -hmm. And her and I had strategized, well, if we keep it open, make sure that, you know, it's we do it with a thank you of the Arbor Day and a recap that we could probably do a little final push and see if we can get a few more responses 
particular those in this room. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was cold and so. rainy and fog. Well, yeah, it was foggy, <laughs> wasn't it? So anyway, um, your agenda has a link to okay. the survey on it. And it should be in your email. So make sure yeah. you do that and send it to all of your family and friends in the area. They don't have to live in Sandpoint. They just have to be part of the area. And they could work here. We, need, we just need people's opinions. This is going to drive mm -hmm. a I lot will, of yeah, the plans. Yeah, so make sure that you do that. Um, that's kind of the process. And then, again, he'll take that information. He's going to do his inventory. It's the deep dive inventory. He'll be here for a couple of weeks, and I'll be working with him, and I'll keep you up to date on Thank that. You. So I imagine um, the next meeting in July will have an up a much more thorough update. Okay. So. I look forward. To, I look forward to that. Okay. Good. Okay. Um, <laughs> well, moving on, we have one new business item: pre-inspection removal request, and this is again made. Yes. Okay. So does anyone here recall what the process was when someone wants to remove a tree? Well, there's, there's a permit. Yeah, they, they, have permit. To, they have to have a permit. I think it's a free permit, um, but they have to um, request it. And then um, it goes, that goes to the city forester. Um, the city forester um, had, has had the discretion to approve it or not approve it. Um, if it's if it's an obviously like a dead tree or, or, or something that's already known to be hazardous, he, uh, the city forester has in the past just gone ahead and approved those. Um, but if it's at all questionable, um, then then that, that was brought to the tree committee and we would uh, look at it and, and talk it over and uh, give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. Okay. I think our main criteria. Yeah. And then the city council has final say. How, when those tree inspections or those permits came in, was it a batched situation where every month you would be reviewing them? Or I'm getting, just, I'm getting several a week yeah. right now. Really? I have a robust file. I didn't want to hit you with it all because a lot of them actually. Um, after going through with Gar, so a lot of them were looked at last year, and they just needed to either be followed up on with pruning. They were a, an absolute no; you're not going to cut down the tree, or um, like they're perfectly healthy. And we're not going to fight about this right now. Mm -hmm. And um, or they were. There was one that is a dead tree. It's actually right by city. It's right on the corner of city hall, and it's the utility company has already worked with the infrastructure the team and it needs to come out and it's just, it is dying. So that was a, a surefire, yes. Mm -hmm. But that candidate, you know, the property owner, we're gonna pump them into the neighborhoods program as soon as that program is going. So I, I would like to get a system here, even though we're gonna have the master plan, it's gonna have recommendations, but um, I'm tracking my hours right now. And a couple of weeks ago, I worked 30 hours during the week on, this stuff and that's wow. too much time. Mm -hmm. um, so I was just wondering if you, if, what the process was in the past and if I could glean any efficiencies out of it because it's a little bit much for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There wasn't, you know, it, it didn't, there wasn't that volume of, of requests and <clears throat> um, Kim or Steven would basically, you know, he'd have a photo and we would take a look at it or I'd take a look at it. And, yeah, okay. Um, so it was pretty, it was pretty, um, well, it wasn't, there, there wasn't that pressure. Um, yeah. Okay. I think a lot of what's happening is because the high winds, um, we're getting yes. reports of families are evacuating the house because they're afraid of the trees. Um, the, the ponderosas particularly, or they call them uh, um, And then when I go and inspect them with Garth, the trees are actually completely fine. Right. Yeah. And right. You know, he's he says the biggest concern is if you see the cracking in the soil, that's going to be indicative. But in in all cases, including the ones that are right across the street, all the trees are fine. <laughs> They're healthy. Yeah. Um, the ones that are uh, um, in the parks need to be cleaned up. He said they'll stop shedding a ton when we start taking care of them. So I've been trying to get a process out of Austin of like who maintains them, who triggers the arborist, who <laughs> cleans them up. Some things they do, some things they hire out for. Whose pot of money am I using? What do you, do you have any recollection of this? 
No, I mean, I, I did some of that work and, um, and Kim hired um, uh, Best Way on certain occasions, um, mostly for some removals. Um, and then I, but I kind of did a lot of the maintenance and, and really there hasn't been any, I don't think there's been any actual um, just yearly maintenance in the, in the park. Um, in terms of like just removing dead wood and stuff like that. Right, and we didn't really, we weren't in charge of the park. No, the parks, no. The trees in the parks. No, we but we, but involved. we were, but we did have, um, I mean, we did, we did, we did have input into that. Yeah. And so when people want to remove trees I, or they want to maintain their trees, there's, I've had some arborists, all the arborists here seem to be pretty well versed, or the, the tree companies. Um, and actually, Avista is pretty good. Um, like I said, I suspect it's probably the cable companies that are causing some problems right now, but um, the fiber, I should say. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, you know, I had a new, a new one come through where he wanted to cable a tree, and I had Garth. This all happened on Thursday. I, I gave the permit request to Garth and I said, you know, I asked Garth if he could work with him because Garth told me before that he didn't recommend cabling for our trees and that there's ways around it. And mm. then it turned out he had actually already inspected this one tree and made recommendations to, of how to prune it without cabling. So he's gonna, he said in all cases, try to not get them to cable because it requires ongoing maintenance and that the homeowner might not always wanna do that. Oh. So. But then, you know, there's some some places where um, the people, I guess, the, the trees had been inspected last fall and they're not taking care of them. Um, is that something that mm -hmm. I should be following up with? Have you guys, how did that work? It's, um, it's I mean, it's, it, there's no, um, there's, yeah, I yeah. mean, it's just, we have this stuff and it's like, but if it doesn't happen, it doesn't, you know, and there's nobody that's held, holding anybody accountable or anything. Right. Okay. Like with the two trees getting removed. That right. was one where I'm like, well, in Anchorage, what we would do is we would pursue legal action. So I immediately inspected my steps were, just so you all know, I got the call, I immediately inspected, I documented it. I pulled the Google Earth image to show the before to prove that there were trees there and their height and all of that because Google, you know, you can look at the street view. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I wrote a memo to Jennifer and Amanda because she's the, you know, utilities, you never know what Amanda, because she also can um, approve removal um, if it's a hazardous tree. And so, you know, I was kind of going by the code there and, I, and then I said the next step would be I would bring Garth in to do an inspection of this. I don't know who, would do the assessment though. There isn't somebody, and it might it might be you, we might rely on the tree committee to provide, or someone, uh, we might hire a third party to provide the value of this tree. Um, but in all cases in Anchorage, we would go after them. It's like yeah. legal sure. and it's worth money, you know, and you have to set, set up. Well, this is going to be interesting. Is, yeah, exactly. Works. Yeah. Right. Yeah, or because what happens. Because we lost trees at the, the Methodist Church. The Methodist Church. Too huge for it trees. never. No, they never. Yeah, it's all. It, we it's sent been... it here. Okay. And Jennifer was in charge and we yeah. loved her, but she never. Well, never yeah, it's, okay. it's, it's been more. Um, you know that there wasn't there wasn't any there wasn't any teeth in the right. in the thing and it was right. more like just asking forgiveness instead of permission right. initially so because well, there, there have been trees that have been removed that, yeah. that without well, I've seen them after then. yeah okay um, okay then the second one is I have a really bizarre one I don't know if this is real or not but um, the Connie's Cafe, yes. they have an oak tree in their deck. And they called me last week and they are wondering if they could remove this oak tree. It's not necessarily in the right of way. They think it's a on the historical registry of trees. And is this a thing that there's a historical registry? I'm glad they think that. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. a gorgeous tree. 
Um, yeah, it's, and oh my Garth gosh. said it's very healthy. Build, build the yeah. deck around it. What is it? Is but they have to keep widening the deck, and now mm -hmm. it's growing into. Oh, that. this is terrible. Oh, that's what I said. <laughs> so it's I said of, it's better for their property yeah. value. I don't know. Is, is it limbed up a little? Is it falling? Yeah, in Yeah, no, it's perfect. It's fine. in the back deck, perfect. yeah, yeah towards yeah. the park. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh. They're rather newish and owners. Garth and I don't know. I'm glad they. I think that the, the gentleman that we talked to, his name's Lars. He seems to yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. Lars. He really liked it. Oh, but he's getting Lars. different information on it. And um, anyway, I need to get the facts straight so I can write him a letter. Well, is it even on the city? Right? It's not in the right way. It's, right right. it's got to be probably pro private property if it's in the deck. Right, but. Historical. Is this a historical okay. registry tree? Pre no, I don't. That? I don't know of anything that's called a historical registry. We uh, a heritage. few years back we put heritage. together guidelines for um, a heritage tree program. That's okay. Yeah. And um, we were kind of we kept um, waiting for a, sort of like a master plan, <laughs> our horticultural <laughs> manual or something had to get approved by city council, yeah. okay. and before we went ahead on it, and and that just sat sat sat. So I don't know if that's. Around so not so we have not not designated any trees. The tree committee has not designated any trees in the city as heritage trees. I designated we, one. Oh, you did. The big did. red maple over. Um, well, how would you describe it? It's just across from Farmer Park. Farm Park. Yeah. yeah, across from the bank. And he's actually doing better. Yeah, have yeah. you noticed? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If he could get trimmed, he'd just look perfect. But. It, I put a necklace around him. That's right. Yeah. The but, you know the, the, the problem that we in pursuing the Heritage Street program was that there was this always this um, you know property right. rights mm -hmm. private thing and telling somebody what to do you know if I remember right there was seemed like there was, it was just too much politics in North Idaho to be yeah, yeah. to be kind of have that work with Rigid what we were working with yeah, yeah. Well, the only other thing was that we had that outstanding trees of sand right before, but unless it was on that in there and they thought that made it a historic tree somehow I don't but i don't think it's even in there no no so i don't know that uh, i don't know that we have any say so. honestly yeah, sure. okay. other than other than to try to encourage them to keep so it but. i'm saying correctly <laughs> i need to come up with some more procedures for this stuff i think i have a pretty clear one but i need to start writing this stuff and making it into a policy would be the next step i'm really curious about this heritage tree did you make a was this a document that you could share um i believe so yeah can you find that for me? Yeah. Who were we with then? Was that Jared or was that Kim? No, no, both it was, it was Stephen it and Jared. Then. Yeah, started with Stephen. This is so great. We've been needing this for so long because we've just been doing what we could, but well, then nobody was there to we, say. You know, the really to, exciting time is like the comp plan revision is coming on board. And the urban, I mean, the watershed master plan, the recreation plan is coming on board. So if I can start to basically, if we, if we get our plan done in August, it can now be integrated into the other plans. And it gives me the teeth to be able to then make policies and procedures. So I'm kind of triaging right now with mm -hmm. some, <laughs> preliminary procedures oh. that I've developed that are based on what I think should be done. But it, it's a triage of, of a mat, pretty strong magnitude. What ultimately I'd like to do is get more cloud in this because if I can get value out of these trees and deem them landscape value instead of timber value, now we've got cloud to maybe hire somebody and start looking at this you know, from a natural resource perspective, which I, I believe that we warrant that the city open space portion of the parks rec and open space, we have 10,000 acres mm. to take care of and there's just not enough people. So um, <laughs> this is, this survey is very important that we get more responses. I don't know how to emphasize that <laughs> because the more that mm. I can point and say, we had X amount of respondents and this is what they believe this is pretty critical yeah so yeah. i don't know if i can 
encourage you guys to push real hard this week, but if you could do one thing for me, it would be to get the word out to get the survey done. Cammy, you're going to bring it over to us so we can. I'll send you the email link and we'll talk about. It. Yeah. We'll and then we can share that from there. I'll talk to Jennifer, make sure she gets the final push. We're going to call it the final push and hit it real hard um, and leave it open you know, for another week and see if we can't get it, get it open maybe until through July 1st or something. I'll try to keep that open mm -hmm. to the 21st okay. now. Right. Yeah, if we can keep it open for the beginning of July, I think, or July 1st, I think that would be phenomenal. And if you guys can, you can do that. Remember, this is our cloud. Those are my stats. So 90 yep. respondents, it'd be really nice to see that number. Okay. More representative of our population here. Yeah, true. Yeah. That's, that's my ask. Okay, and I'm just going to keep running with my inspections and removal requests, just so you know where I am with things is um, there's, there's just a couple trees that I think were a little bit vague on what to do next. Um, and I was getting reports from Garth. Um, we did go downtown. There's uh, Mr. Brown, Bill Brown, I think is his name, down on Second mm -hmm. TV. He has a historical building. The Elliott Hotel. Yeah. So I'm going to bring this up real, real quick. The trees that were planted during the new streetscape project are 90% inappropriate street trees for downtown. They're all going to grow too large. I'm going to get to the bottom of this and I'm going to figure out what landscape architect approved all this. Is this on first? All those trees. What, and what are those? They sort of. Um, there's the Japanese one, the. The Japanese tree lilac. Is that right? Nope. No. Oh, the they Zocoba? Have, Zocoba. Yeah. They no. have Zocobas all along first. That's what they were giving out those trees. I know, at and that's Day. why I know about them. And then Garth pointed out to me, they're going to be three to four times the size that they are now. They're completely the wrong tree, the wrong place. Oh my gosh. And there are zillions of them. The person on second, he has, sorry, I'm so bad with tree names. Well, it's they, not my forte. Oh, there's some, there's some, Brown. there's some, there's Brown. some, Brown. some um, there's some honey locusts down there, I think. On, on uh, cedar. So then the honey locusts are all going to drip and droop. And well, they 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 just get a hugely wide yeah. canopy, and see that was you know we were, um, for some reason we weren't part of that tree approval process. I mean we, and, and we actually recommended that there was some that they add some diversity in there yes. because they just had one species. I think they were, it wasn't like pears or something. I don't remember. Pears I think pears are in there. Yeah. But yeah, so, but we weren't, we weren't part of that initial process to be able to approve um, and, and rely on our expertise. They didn't. Well, Garth said to me that it's going to be a problem for the rest of my career here <laughs> because they're going to continue to tear out the sidewalk. They're going to get, continue to push up the sidewalk and creep in those trees are too well they're going to grow too large for the site and they're actually really healthy which is they're really all nice. really mm -hmm. healthy. those dogwoods though are beautiful those are fun they they are right now. now they're just going to tear up the side oh i don't i'm not too worried about the dogwoods i'm no. really okay. worried about the um, aggressive the trees yeah. and then the one that's in front of bill brown's house i can't property i can't remember what it's called but he's he has a request to remove it right now and I'm gonna to try to find a process for him to remove and replace because the sidewalk is all torn up and he's he can't get his building insured. And is the sidewalk's torn up now? It's all popped up. Yeah. From this tree? Yeah. Really? Oh. And we only planted it in Yeah, it's only been two years, years ago. Yeah, a few years huh. old, yeah. There were some um, sensation box elders. No. Um, the, I don't think that they were part of that new project. Oh, okay. Actually, not, not the new one. I can tell you. We talked about they're, it. They're on second there. <laughs> so again, on purple, maybe. we don't have any guidelines for street trees right now. And that's another thing. And Garth recommended looking at Spokane. He said that they had a pretty good, um, a pretty good one there. So I was thinking about doing that. I just, honestly, I'm, Guys, I'm, I'm maxed out. Mm, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. But 
I the and landscape countries. architects that did that. Yeah. I promise you, I'm going to find out who they are and not hire them if I can help it. <laughs> what on earth? That oh. gives the landscape architect a bad name. Sure. So I'm pretty upset about it because I'm like, you guys. Oh, and there are tons of them. If that's what that lacy large is that what these are? They kind of are drooping. Yeah. Yeah. Just unbelievable. Yeah. I feel like people. Those are COVID. I was wondering what those were. They're, and they're actually a type of elm, I believe. Yeah, they're really and they turn elm. different colors. It looks like I looked. But they them. grow to seventy <laughs> feet tall, and I mean they're going to be. Why? We don't know who that was. We I remember mm. we walked down there and made recommendations. Oh but well, but they didn't. It. Yeah, they didn't listen. Who and there was so there much repetition. It was Stephen. Was Stephen Stephen the former? Uh, no, it was it was Kim. Oh, Kim was it? Yeah. So you know Kim. Or you don't know him. Wasn't Jared? But he's no, oh, maybe it was you're right. Me, oh, yeah, God. yeah, yeah. Might have been Jared. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot what that's that's right. right. Forgot about Jared. Yeah, it might have been Jared. Right. I just want to clarify this though. And didn't we have to have a permit because 106 we, South Second to go on our walk? 106 yeah. South Second. Something we had to declare a need. South permit. Second? Probably. Well, that's not even that wasn't even part of that project. No, so this is um you know where it is, right? Where Featherston is across the street with those giant, uh, were they white? Anyway, oh, those, those giant trees first, that yeah. blew over. Yeah. Well, this is one that's probably going to come to you. He's he is threatening litigation. Um, and um, oh, you don't know what kind of tree it is. We're going to see it in a minute. This is <laughs> south of Pine. 106 South Second Avenue. No, I think it's I think it's north of Pine. Economy groceries, groceries. Yes. Oh, that! Wow, I painted a picture of that one. That's not a huge. This little guy. Yeah. Seems like it's little right now. Go down there. It's torn up. It's torn up. What's he gonna plant? Oh, that's step. so that yeah that's uh, uh, can I see that? yeah. <laughs> Know your winter trees. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. The arrows on the left or right. It might go to the next picture. Yeah, this that's that's a um, that was planted quite a while ago. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's not even part of that wasn't even part of the Second Avenue thing because because we had done the um, structural soil thing in there. Right. So this is this was I'm not sure when that. Oh, was here's a new picture of it. Oh, there you go. Wow. Yeah. Well, it's mm -hmm. torn up the sidewalk and it's going to go. Oh, you know, that might be actually might might be a uh, is it an autumn purple ash? Look how close it was you an ash. That's but great. If I say it, I probably I will. Uh, I'll go. I'll go look at it. That'd be great. When we leave, when we, when we leave here, I'll, I'll, I'll swing by and take a look at it. Yeah. What, what was your address again? One oh one oh six South Second okay. Avenue. You have that. And I don't think it's that he doesn't okay, like the worry. trees. He likes trees. He's he just said wrong tree, wrong place. Yeah, that's our philosophy. And, and all of them downtown are the same. Oh boy. And that was a new project. So I'd like to get to the point where we don't have that anymore. Sure. Where, where no more these projects get reviewed. And, we're and there's a there. list and they have to be off of a list. Thank you. Like standards. This is a normal what, what would be really nice. We do have an approved street tree list, but when you start planting in concrete little openings, I think I think the number of choices should be much fewer than our regular list. Oh. I think we should have like a, just a specific list for trees downtown in boxes that do well, uh, in small it's, it's, small planting areas and and, and say maybe more narrow because our regular street trees, some of them will really like to branch out, and that's oh. fine in the neighborhoods, but not downtown. Not downtown, and then the next thing is, what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. I mean, in five it, years from now, when they start popping up the brand new sidewalk, it won't be brand new anymore. But and they're growing into the the buildings. Maybe. Uh, but are, is there any is there any tree that that won't do that? I mean, I mean, it's, I mean, it's kind of a in landscape architecture. This is a regular conversation: the balance of picking the right tree. But then, yeah, sure. I mean, a lot of times they'll put them in containers to raise them up. And that gets them all out, and then they're in their containers. And there's all kinds of science behind this. Right. Well, for a solution at this 
for this situation, I'm dreaming that maybe if the landscape people are responsible, mm -hmm. that they zig, zag, removal and replace right away. Because if they do it all, we're going to be shocked. And especially they've taken off. They're right. doing well. Right. So do you know what I'm saying? Like, just don't mm -hmm. do them all at no, the same time. No clear cuts. Well, yes. there's another thing. Like, could you save the tree? So oh. the sidewalk, like for this incident, He's got to remove, he's going to have to excavate the sidewalk anyway. Could we try to save it? I don't know. I mean, the tree? Yeah. Is no. It... <laughs> so. No, there's no way to be able, there's no way to dig that tree out of there. Okay. And then, because the, you... the, when the site, when you have the sidewalk and the pavement and the street and everything, those roots get really crazy weird. And they hit stuff and then they, they concentrate in certain areas and they just get, it, it's it's hard even to get a, use the stump grinder to get the get those mm -hmm. out. So is this something that you all think maybe should I should I be looking into solutions or do you have any thoughts on what to do? Because I'd really lean on you all for expertise in this of what to do because this is basically the predicament that I see is this is going to come to a head over the next five years. I'm going to have a lot of these situations with these um, with the retailers and. Oh yeah, they probably want to be able to see their storefront. Yeah, yeah. Turn exactly. around and look at that image of and then downtown. Kind of do branches so their sign shows. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's such a tough thing because you know, I mean, you're looking at the canopy, improving the canopy, but yet yeah. the trees have to be limited to the awning or whatever. It's the ASLA, the Association of Landscape Architects, certainly has a lot of stuff or recommendations. I can. I, I would, I guess where I'm thinking we should go is I'll talk to Jim about this for the plan and see what he says, but I think we should probably add this to our work. So we need to find a solution for the future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really, this is going to be a problem for the city. And again, I'm not always going to be here. So you're going to need somebody to deal with this in the long run. And yeah. um, I want to make sure we put it in zone of like, hey, <laughs> This is the right tree for here. And this is what we do when we do run into this situation. I just really want to be able to have a path forward with this gentleman and with all the other business owners, because whatever I say to this person, mm -hmm. it's going to be the precedent. Yeah. So do you have a link like that you could send to us of people that do this? Or should we just vaguely write proper city uh, oh. tree suggestions? Yeah, there's, there's definitely um, the the ASLA, it's called the Association of Landscape Architects. They, there's a lot of talk about this, but I'm sure there's best management practices for the city arborists. And yeah. And there are also, um, like, I know, like, um, like Schmidt Nursery, they, um, they do a lot of, um, they, they're developing cultivars to, to kind of um, dovetail into these huh. kind of difficult situations. And so there are a lot more, I think, varieties out there that, that we I mean, could potentially, but you, we have to be, they have to have the, we, see, we were relying on the local nurseries. Yeah. And they didn't always have, and, and I, you know, these trees on first and cedar did not come from local nurseries, I don't believe. But for like the neighborhoods, we were relying on the local nurseries and what they what they were growing and what they actually had available in their inventory. So we kind of we kind of customized the the that around that. But there are a lot more, um, I think, urban tolerant cultivars that are that are out there and that are developed. And I think you know, I just say Schmidt because they they actually have. Um, they're they're in Oregon. They're a big oh, producer in Oregon, and they uh, but they actually have these posters of of all these different growth habits and where they fit and everything. That's what we need. Yeah. But then you know I'll have to have some recommendations for this retroactive yeah. situation. Like, what do we do next? Do we... I'm gonna need to have a response for this gentleman. He's threatening to sue right now, and you know. His sidewalk has popped up. He has to replace his sidewalk. He can't get his building insured. So would we have to take this tree down or he would do it? 
He has to take it back. He has to do it. But we but have then, to have a recommendation. Yeah, what's the recommendation? Well, it doesn't sound precedent. like we have it's much choice. It's a precedent. It? So I want to be really careful because we're setting a precedent for other business owners. Remember that one guy that cut his own tree down because it was in front of his yeah, store? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, oh, okay. He had no recourse. Right. Nothing. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. There's no. Uh -huh. Well, at least he's doing the right thing. He's going yeah. through the right yeah. steps. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I mean, so why he likes trees. I think a lot of times people like they like the trees. They just want to mantle, and they also don't. You know, the city makes them replace their sidewalk. Right. We make them. We plant the wrong tree, and then we make them replace the mm -hmm. sidewalk. Boy, we're fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how do we fix that? Well, yeah, and he's got a good case, head. I think. <laughs> Um, since since it was the yes. city's put the tree there that caused the problem, and now it, the expense is on him for. I, I mean, I think he's got a reasonable case. I don't. Know, I actually don't quite understand why the city isn't can't step in and just. Well, that that was probably the part problem of the that original. They um, that was probably part of the original BID thing, mm -hmm. where there was a lot of controversy about that. Uh -huh. But right now, it seems like we should be able to find a tree. Yeah, we need to, to let him do this, right? I mean, are you guys yeah. thinking of making him keep the tree? And take, no. yeah, okay. No, it's hmm. it's, it's then, not the right yeah, tree to be should, there. So should we make a recommendation of what to put in. I mean, well, that's what I'm thinking. Say. I should yes. be in our tree specialists. Yeah, <laughs> what should we put in? Well, well you know, I like. Like Schmidt. I mean, I think if that tree is what I think it is, and not a purple ash, it's really a great street tree. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. but it's, I mean, that's, you know, I mean, it's just, there's the trees and sidewalks. That's yeah. a huge, huge thing. Well, what do you guys think I should do? Maybe I should ask you to develop a recommendation. I don't, I can do more for me, I can do more investigation. I can look into stuff, but I'm not sure. I almost wonder what for this I, particular. What do I do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you had any mm -hmm. suggestions, I'll 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 go by there as soon as we leave here. Do we need to have a special meeting for this? I'm just. Can you make mm -hmm. up a recommendation, Brian? Sure. So we just need we need a recommendation as to what to replace it with. Yes. Yes. But what else? Yeah. I mean. He needs to he needs to remove the tree and fix the sidewalk and sue the city. So and grind um, the grind some. Yeah. And but we need to recommend a different tree to go in there. And, and is the city going to plant that then? Yeah. I would. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's and that's. I got it, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't have a good. I certainly don't have any tree recommendations. I don't. I don't. Yeah. Well, then maybe they would. Down there in that area, that yeah, um, that commercial area down there, yeah, I think they did. Because I think further south um, was the um, I, I can't remember where that. Oh, so this is south of Pine, isn't it? South. Yeah, it's south of Pine. So so north of Pine on Second. Between second, between Pine and Green. Sure. yeah, Church or Oak, yeah, all that that whole Second Avenue that was all part of a big project. Oh yes, and where we um, were working with the structural soil <clears throat> and and um, and that actually but it didn't really go good. that far. It, it didn't, didn't go to the south. No, yeah. it didn't go south of there. So that's a that's a tree that's been there for quite a while. Okay. That we weren't even involved okay. with. Yeah, I wasn't part of it. I, I remember a, a Japanese Zelkova on second, but it was south of Pine, it wasn't it? South of Pine? I thought, yeah. Oh, that you mean in your inventory? In the inventory. Huh? In, in, yeah. Huh. I mean, it's, it, there's a Pine in second, and it's, it's just like second or third tree in. Yeah, did you see the picture, bud? I did. I, did, I don't huh? think that that is. Yeah. Right. But don't, oh. don't it, but it was a very young tree when I remember oh. looking at it. So I oh. maybe that is. Uh, yeah, I have to look. Yeah. Well, and Garth's giving me a report on it, so then I at least have that. Did he? Did he have a speed? Did he give you the species name? 
He did at the time. I forgot. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's all right. I can't remember names very well. There's a lot in my brain. Yeah. Well, you're going to look at. I'll look at. Look at you're it. going to look at something else. And but don't um, you know rely on us. Hopefully, yeah. we can't. We can't. We can't afford you to get burnt out. So <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so then, yeah, and then streamlining these inspections. I talked to Garth about that too, and he said he can come up here every Thursday if I have that many. Um, right now, <clears> I'm <throat> thinking at least once a month he has to come. Um, he brought me this printout of a spreadsheet that I don't have, but it was one of Kim's spreadsheets of all these trees that were being looked at last fall. And I was like, this is great. It'd be great to. Oh, but, it's, but you don't have access to it? I'm sure it's in one of his files, but his record keeping. Um. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, he tried, but yeah. yeah. Well, so, you guys are, you guys are, have so many balls in the air. Yes. Yeah. With, uh, <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, I'm trying to get it all, all going. And um, anyway. All right, so there's that. And then there's uh, one other tree that's on Euclid and Ontario Street. It's no, dead. The big, the big birch? Um, no, it's a maple. That's dead? Yeah. Oh. So I was just going to remove it with maintenance. It's dead? Did you just say that? Oh, so we need to look at it. It's No, it's not okay. dead. Maybe it was superior. I don't know. And then there's that, <laughs> that, that giant bull pine on the highway, you know, Dubs oh, yeah. Road, and mm -hmm. he's so suffering. He's, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah. Oh, where's and that Jane, she, Jane, with that day on Arbor Day, oh, was asking funny. us to all please go water it, remember? Oh. That's actually, yes. that's actually uh, highway, pro, highway, highway. So the highway, yeah. okay. Oh, yeah. here's, here's some, I have, I do have a, uh, a request. When we when you come into Sandpoint off of 95, going north, you know, mm -hmm. those poor linden trees there, we got to get rid of those things. They are, you know, it is so pitiful. It just breaks my heart to see those trees every time I come into oh, town. Where? Oh, on the high. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's some. The, the, that's the, what those. One are. side, I don't know if they've been cut off. Or, I mean, they're just it's horrible. It's plow damage. It's what? It's damage from the plows. Oh. oh. Oh, yeah. Snow plows. Really? Wow. Oh, so, so they're that? on the side where the snow's getting tossed off oh, the tree. Then oh, the live yeah, side yeah, is on the side yeah. that kind of gets missed a little bit. Yeah. So yeah. is that the highway department that would be? Well, that, that was highway. part of the, um, but that was all part of the, the city, byway the, the, the byway project that right. the city was involved with. Oh, if that I know where it is, I can probably. <laughs> We're going back to. It's just when you come in, when you're coming off of the Long Bridge. It's just you know, just before you pass, yeah, you, you, you don't you don't turn into you don't turn into the into the train construction <laughs> like I did a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Down the trail. <laughs> so you get off the highway. Yeah, and then just like when you're coming to the you know coming to the it's, signal there, it's the exit ramp. To come the exit the ramp, tent. right, yeah. right, right. Okay. There's like I don't know five yeah. or six. I'll try to look pitiful that trees there that we just, yeah. just do it. Does nothing. It does our no, town. No, no. <laughs> no. You know, there's nothing that happens. I don't know if it's no plow damage. I don't know what you could put there. Well, I, I don't. You know, you almost don't Gotta need take trees them. there because they're yeah. just going to get. Because so the you know the, the highway is, is spraying <laughs> the, the highway the spraying chainsaw, the road above there. Yeah, it's they just, would just do, 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 mm -hmm. right. Rich, I mean, probably. Babe, up. aren't they only like this big <laughs> around? Yeah. You're not going to do it. What? In the night. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, the city. That tree might be a black walnut. The one that said. Oh, um, well, the walnuts right. don't have, are just starting to open up. So I was like thinking a tamarack is dead. So it's on Euclid and either Superior. Or on Euclid, Euclid and Ontario is what you first or said. Or on Ontario. One of the, well, Euclid doesn't go to Ontario. Oh, well. That's, <laughs> that's, Lake, that's Lakeview there. Oh, that's right. Oh, my. I don't. Yes, it is. I that's your sign there, right? No. Oh, well, it's my. Anyway, favorite. he said it was dead. Garth said it was dead. We can go. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. 
but he said the tree is worth a lot of money. And I said, well, I'm sure one of my maintenance guys would be really happy about that. <laughs> so, uh -huh. that it was, what's the, what has been the process in the past? When the With where does it go? Yeah, we remove it and then. I don't know. Well, I think in the past, the, uh, the homeowner is actually responsible for that. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, if if the city crew is, is removing trees in the in the main part of the city, then everybody's going to go. Uh -huh. Oh, the city, this they the city took my that, that tree down. They need to take my tree down. Mm -hmm. And then, do they get? Do they have to plant a new one? Yeah. Supposedly, which which neighbor, which the... neighborhoods would cover? Yeah. So typically, the the homeowner is is accountable for the expense of the of the removal or the maintenance and That's the huge. stump grinding. Okay. And then they still have to ask us permission. Yeah. <laughs> to pay yeah. for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So those are the kinds of things they need to know about. Well, and you know, I mean that, and we've had these discussions. It's like, yeah. So, you know, where's where, where is the um, the fairness mm -hmm. um, kind of image? Yeah. If the city's taking the tree out for some one person, and then your next door, they have to do it. You know, so I don't know. Okay. Right, because yeah. these people are not expecting the city to do it, are they? Or are we taking it on because it's hazardous? Is that how it goes? It's probably not. A, it's probably not too hazardous if it's a, a standing oh, walnut. We probably killed it because it was killed by um, some potting. Really? That's why it got that. You can see. You can see it. It has been hit numerous times. Wow. It's on the corner. Mm. Uh, mm. So, but anyway, well. I think I will say based on historical procedures, you know, that they should remove it and then it's their responsibility. And then I'll put them into the neighborhood program, whether we started this year or in the spring. Yeah. I can't imagine pulling off the neighborhood program right now, to be honest. So there's too much. No, we want you to keep breathing. Yeah, yes. I really. Don't yeah. think it's going to happen this fall unless you guys did the full thing. But yeah, to, well, I think we're, I mean, we're really constrained by not being able to do much till yeah. we get Jim Flott's report yeah, in, yeah. in the July, which is, um, and then try to put the program together and then try to pull it off. It'd be so much better in a couple of months if we really it, try to get the survey done. Yeah, get that out, get a good plan, I agree. and then start implementing for next year. Yeah, that would be my recommendation. Yeah, just take a break. Mm -hmm. But do we get back to the people who we have promised trees to through the computer? Yeah, and we just let them know we'll do it in the spring. Right now, they've all been told it's on hold. So. Oh, okay, great. Mm -hmm. And you have it on the website, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how many people do we have on that list? I've only been contacted by probably less than five. Oh, okay. I thought there might have been more. I was under the impression that Kim had an existing list that I never been given a copy of mm. yeah yeah kim kept saying that he had people calling him periodically about this mm -hmm. yeah but i don't know that i but you know we never got i, I don't know if we ever even got an application in hand so we don't have any physical record of their yeah. wanting i'll give you a, so this is an example of where's that Oh, because, because he did fill out. Yeah. So what I do okay, is I get I, the application I, oh, okay. and then I save yeah. it and I say in progress. <laughs> and on the top of it, I write in computer world, I write when it when I reviewed it, I put my name on it and I document it. This now is a legal document. So I'm creating a record, especially since he threatened litigation. I was like, yeah. bring it. I got I got it. Yeah. So <laughs> go ahead and sue me, I dare you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. So yeah, it's just those good. things where we can't get pushed around. And we have enough teeth that I can push back and say when we are inspecting and 
see, so I have on here hazard risk inspection complete. I put the date and then I put the arborist name. I say, you know, permit was submitted on the 8th. I reviewed it on the 8th. Because that's the other thing people are saying that we're not getting back to them. Well, I'm, I'm flipping these immediately just because they do come with litigation potential. So from a landscape architecture perspective, I mean, this is, you know, I have to cover myself as well. And hopefully going to be a licensed professional here soon. And procedures are important to my career. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Legitimizing the program, but also making it so that Cami and I aren't swamped with this. Yeah, and cleaning it up and making efficiency. So, anyway, yeah, I appreciate all this history. This helps a lot. I will try to streamline it, and then we'll continue to band aid or triage mm -hmm. until we have this master plan. And then from that master plan, mm -hmm. obviously there'll be recommendations. We'll sit down. I imagine August is going to be like kind of a strategic planning month for us, where we take that plan. Mm -hmm. And we say, okay, now let's make our, what can we implement from this plan? And when are we doing it? Okay. Um, and then you'll probably, you guys will probably go to council again and update council on yeah. your actions. So is Jim going to be with us or is he just going to be here working? No, he's just me working. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if he needs to talk to you all again, it will be in July. So yeah. you have another meeting in July. Yeah. 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 In fact, we should, we, um, I think we need to get out of here pretty quickly here. Yeah. Um, for another meeting that may, may be coming in on our tail. Okay. So anyway, um, yeah, I don't know if we gave you the, the best answer yet here, Meg, because I think we don't really have all the answers for you. Um, and, and, uh, but, but yeah, certainly something we need to address in the future. Right. Um, and don't and, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> We're getting it. We're doing a lot. Yeah, we are. Anyway, I appreciate that. Um, uh, let's see. Our next meeting is going to be July 18th. I, I trust that's a Monday. Not running into any other yes. holidays. Yeah. It is our third Monday of the month. Yeah. yeah. Okay. July 18th, Monday. Um, and there being no further business um i adjourn this meeting it's um 9 59. that was good terrible <laughs> um, i will um check in with jen i'm going to send you a message right now and just say see if he needs to talk